Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to be showing you here the uh, obvious, which uh, we're going to see this firmware bounce into this machine. Here we go. I'm just lining up the camera and switch on. And here we go. There's loading the OS image. There it is checking. And just watch at the bottom of the screen there where you get a few more little items going on and then boom we're in. Now that's a lot quicker than the old Android uh, loads up there. Um, and again I'm showing you this video to prove to those that uh, desire this WinCE on their system uh, that it is actually possible to do. Incidentally um, it took me ages to find the uh, the right files etc people are sent going all over the place uh, looking for these files and looking in the wrong place etc etc and I've put the latest ones together and managed to figure it all out and um, here's the result I want to just uh, uh, have a little look around the system there so I'm just focusing in show you uh, a little closer up what's available and I'm just going to focus in on the uh, the firmware version so that you can see where we're at and notice um, that other people that have done this on uh, previous versions have not left the screen hopping long enough for people to sort of work out what's going on that annoyed me a little bit and so here I'm taking my time and showing you around the system here on the bottom right hand side there you can see there's the slider for the brightness of the screen LAN connection brightness uh, I've got Wi-Fi switch and then the batteries incidentally so when you switch the Wi-Fi on which I'll do in a little while it's very difficult to hold the camera and point the mouse at the same time uh, you'll notice that the icons are really small, hence the reason why I'm using a mouse. Uh, it's a wireless mouse that's stuck into the USB, the main USB. Uh, no configuration required, it's just straight in and it recognizes it straight away. Um, very fine click here then going on just to uh, see if I've got the uh, Wi-Fi functioning. A lot of people were telling me that uh, they couldn't get Wi-Fi going, but uh, I certainly did. No problem at all. And so here we'll just click and we'll show you it firing up. Just bear a second. Let's just lift the camera up a little bit and here I'll show you here we go yes there you go close the Wi-Fi and then click on comes the Wi-Fi and incidentally once you've got it on um, next icon to appear at the side of it will be the familiar little television with the uh, radar booming out that'll have a red cross on it and so you just simply double click on that and away you go you'll get another alert box and that uh, you'll just click on the uh, wireless tab choose the uh, network and connect okay we're down on the right hand left hand sorry corner looking at the uh, start menu here we go we're gonna go up the menus usual settings again basic but enough for a little machine like this as you can see it's documents empty There's nothing being done with this it's a straightforward install once it's in this is showing you what you get with the uh, latest image file 
it's burned onto the system. So we're moving up to the programs tab now and then this is the standard list it's standard WinRAR there Explorer UC Web Solitaire Recorder Picture Viewer Word Processor straight there MSN Media Player your own mail as well Internet Explorer Free Cell and again you get a flashlight there and moving up to Excel Calculator and File Viewers and again flicking on to the top there you got your PDF viewer Excel PowerPoint and Word viewer notice it's 2003 and we're in 2011 nearly here again standard uh, shortcuts to that same software and figured onto the screen for you in advance no need to mess about it's all there I do hope this uh, microphone's working. Otherwise, <laughs> it'll have been sitting through uh, a lot of doom. I'm pretty sure it is. So, again, there's the shortcuts. Incidentally, the uh, Windows Media Player is extremely small. Um, I couldn't get any other player to work on the unit today. Don't know if anybody else has managed to do that. I'm sure they'll let me know. I was going to watch it shut down now. Okay, I'm going to touch in there with the uh, mouse because the icons are so small. And you'll notice that when we hit the uh, shutdown, it's nothing like the Android. Boom, it's off. And there it goes. And uh, I'm figuring on doing um, a little write-up about how I actually put all the this together and got it actually working for those that are struggling try and make a, a simple straightforward step-by-step -step process so that people have got a backup for their system anyway thanks for watching and um, that was that